Rico taking on Ringo Dow, another big fight. They've been talking about for like the last two or three years. Yeah, that's actually big for the sport too. I, um, I like that matchup. Um, both of them, both of them um, vets. Um, I believe Ringo Dow is 30 or and plus, and I think um, Lomachenko approaching 30. <laughs> both of them went to the Olympics. You know, um, I think it's a great fight for the sport. You know, uh, I definitely be watching. I also be at a uh, Tavern Fight. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll yep. be there watching some, watching some fr fresh meat. <laughs> so you'd rather be at, matter of fact, Tevin's fighting on the same day, right? Yeah, he's fighting on the same day. So I just record, I record Lomachenko and Reganow. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I mean, um, would you look at, obviously, Lomachenko for, as a possible opponent, maybe sometime in 2018 or 2019? Yeah, um, down the road, yeah, he's an opponent, I believe, if he's not, if he's not, um, you know, uh, trained or anything like that, because, you know, he, he born in the Olympics, so, and I, I, I believe he have over, um, 200 or 300 amateur fights, correct? He yeah, got, I think he has, like, somewhere three or four hundred. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. His, um, hopefully I can get him before he get out the door. If not, um, he's an amazing fighter. Um, nothing but, uh, what's nothing but the best for him. Last question, another big fight, uh, January, I believe, 20th, 2018. A guy you know very well, Lamar Peterson taking on Errol yes. Spence. Two good fighters. They sparred a couple years ago. They did? Yeah, they, uh, somewhere back in, like, 2013. Yeah. Somewhere around it. They sparred Earl Spence and Lamar Peace and give him good work. Pretty much everybody say Lamar give, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, uh, yeah, everybody spar good work. I, I think a lot of people sleeping on Lamar. A lot of people sleeping on Lamar and I've been in I've been in camps with him. Mm -hmm. Um not more I've been in more than one camp with him. Lamar can fight. Lamar is a dog. They sleeping on him. I believe he one of the best fighters out. That's really not getting credit like that, but he is one of the best fighters that I have. I actually sparred him up. I used to spar him up, but um, well, he used to work with me, you know. Um, coming up when I had spar partners, you know, uh -huh. he had work with me. Brian Hunter, I had him work with me, and things like that. So I, people scared to spar you? It was. I mean, because sometimes, like if I'm if I'm spar, like if we in camp. Mm -hmm. I always, I'm always fighting like I'm fighting in the in the real fight. So okay, people get clipped. So no holding back. Mean, no holding back. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I sparred, I sparred Lamont a few times. And Lamont, he's a good fighter. He's a he's a great fighter. I believe him. Mm -hmm. I believe he could do if he if he more active this year, mm -hmm. he can he he could be up there. Uh, Earl and Lamont, I believe. Fight. Toss up. Toss up. Toss up. All right. First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to DC Mike TV. Never heard of this channel, but they'll get some good interviews. He got a few interviews he gave with Tank Davis. Go check them out. I'll leave the link in the description. But back to what Tank was talking about. Man, when this man was talking about Loma Checo, this man down there said that Loma Checo had 300 amateur fights. That shit didn't make no sense. What the fuck that had to do with you fighting Lomacheco? Then he was like, you gonna fight him soon? Tank was, you know, stuttering. You know how Tank, tank is, man. Uh, uh, it's just, uh, it's, if one day, if he don't, uh, don't he got like 300 amateur fights already? And don't you, uh, I don't know if he don't retire before I get a chance to get to him. Make a long story short, Tank don't want no smoke with Lomacheco. It don't look like it, you know what I mean? Simple ass. Like my nigga Fluck say. And uh, who else? Um, oh yeah, he was talking about Lamont Peterson versus Earl Spence. He's saying Lamont Peterson. Niggas is overlooking Lamont Peterson. And you know what? If you think about it, Lamont Peterson is better than Danny Garcia anyway. You feel me? So that's gonna be a good fight for Earl Spence, you know what I mean? But I'm still rolling with Earl Spence off top, you know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck Tank talking about. Tank put some of that money up, man. I got Earl, man. Easy money. He gonna have to worry about your boy Riga down if he beat Lomacheco. Tank versus Rigo. You know what I mean? I know you wanna fight Tevin Farmer. You know what I mean? Tevin Farmer is nice, but Tevin Farmer ain't got no motherfucking power. 
I feel like Tank gonna walk right through him. And you know what I mean? I think Tank in the ring. Tank got a lot of experience with some slick fighters. You know, Floyd have him ready for that fight. Easy motherfucking money. I got Tank all motherfucking day against Tevin Farmer. But like Tank don't want no work with Loma Chaco right now, man. It just look that way to me. Oh yeah. And just to answer your question, is Floyd Mayweather coming back? Be retired. I'm not fighting no more, no matter what the price is. So I take it, I take it, there were, they also had quotes from you talking about fighting Amir Khan. I take it those were fake. Fake, all lies. Wow, I figured. No boxing for me, man. I don't, I don't even like talking about boxing. I don't even like watching boxing. Mm.